almost all of us have at least one person that is impossible to buy for at Christmas. What do you buy for the person who has everything? What do you buy for teenagers who basically don't like anything? And what do you buy for that grumpy relative who complains about everything that you buy him anyway? Or how about this one? What could you buy for God this Christmas? If you had to come up with a gift to give to God, what would it be? We know that he already owns the cattle on a thousand hills, Psalms 50, 10. Considering that he created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1, 1, I've come to the conclusion he doesn't need the telescope I was considering purchasing. I thought about some homemade cookies, but then I remembered that God is spirit, as mentioned in John 4, 24, and he probably doesn't get hungry, so I gave up on that idea. In fact, there's no material gift that I could possibly give to God that he does not already own. And even if there was something, I'm sure he wouldn't need it. From searching the scriptures, I've discovered that the one thing I can give to God this Christmas, and for that matter, every day of my life, is the gift of me. It's the one thing we all possess that God does not always completely own. God in his love has given us the choice to either offer him the gift of self or keep the gift of self for ourselves and not share it with him at all. What are some ways I can give God the gift of self this Christmas? Well, I'll give God the gift of my mind, 1 Corinthians 2, 16. Rather than filling my mind with things that keep me from growing closer to God, I'll fill it with things that are good and pure and true. I'll give God the gift of my heart, Mark 7, 21. Through compassion, love for others, and refusal to give in to the ways of the world, I'll let my heart be transformed by the power of God so that my life will be a blessing to Him. I'll give God the gift of my witness, Acts 20, 24. Instead of walking in fear, I'll walk in the boldness of my calling and tell others the good news about Jesus. I'll give God the gift of my love, Matthew 22, 37. Refusing to love the world, I'll replace that desire with a yearning to place God first in every aspect of my life. And I'll give God the gift of my faith. James 2.18 Living out what I claim I believe, God will see that my deeds match my proclamation. Moving from lip service to actual service in God's kingdom will be my living creed. Those are some of the gifts I plan to give God this Christmas. How about you? Have you made your list yet? Isn't it time that we gave God our very best? Merry Christmas.